So before I get started, I just want to mention that this is still experimental from what I see. This is not a full release, so just take that with a grain of salt. If you want to go ahead and check this out for yourself and just want to experience it, see what it's like to actually use the Xbox full screen experience on your handheld, then go ahead with this tutorial. Now, you don't have to join any preview program. You don't have to join any insider program with your Windows updates. This should work on the latest version of everything. So we're going to want to make sure that everything is up to date before we go ahead with anything. So the first thing you need to do is go to your Windows updates, check for updates to make sure that you're just fully updated on everything. Once that's done, go to your Microsoft store, go to your downloads tab here, and just make sure everything is updated there as well. We're gonna need the latest version of the Xbox app as well as the Game Bar app. So once that's all done, the last thing is just to go into your armory crate and we're gonna go to the cogwheel update center and just go ahead and check for updates there and make sure that's all updated as well now this is probably not necessary but it's recommended to just make sure everything's up to date so that you're on the same page as me now once that's all set and done we just have to go to our browser of choice and we do have to download something so like i said this is pretty much still experimental it's not fully released as of yet but there is a workaround in order to get it working today so if you want to check it out for now, you could do this method. If not, just wait a little bit longer and Microsoft most likely will release a full update that would allow you to experience this without any workarounds. So what we need to download is VB tool. Uh, you could go to github.com forward slash the book is closed forward slash VB forward slash release. Or you could go and check out the link in the description down below or the first pinned comment. And I'll have a link for this here. We're going to want to make sure that we are on the latest release. Scroll down to where it says assets and then make sure that we click on the Intel AMD.zip. Once that's done downloading, we could go ahead and take our download, drag it to our desktop, just so that it's easier to get to. Now, if you're using a mouse and keyboard, you can go ahead and right click extract all. If not, you can hold down on it with your finger on the screen and now bring up this menu here. Just go ahead and extract. Let's extract and you should get this folder that pops up here. Once we're done, we could take the unextracted folder, take the extract, take the zip folder, throw that out. You don't need that anymore. But this folder here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to rename this. So once again, right click or hold down on the screen, click rename, and we're going to rename it to just VV tool so that it's easier to get to. So once that's done, we need to go ahead and just click on this PC or find our PC folder here. Click on that. And then you should have this here. Just go ahead and drag and drop the VB tool into that there. You don't have to put it in a, a, another folder or anything. Just drag and drop it to this root here. Once that's done, we could go ahead and close this out. Now we need to go to our Windows icon here. And we're going to search CMD for command prompt. We're going to right click on that and make sure we run as administrator. This will not work any other way. Once this pop up here happens, go ahead and press yes. And we should have our command prompt. We're going to want to make sure that it is administrator command prompt. And then we have to type in a few things. So the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and type lowercase CD space uppercase C colon forward slash and then VV tool. Now you're going to want to make sure you type it the way that you renamed that folder. So if you renamed it something else or it looks like something else, make sure you type that in. Once that's done, go ahead and press enter and you should get this here. So it should just say C colon forward slash VB tool with a little arrow. And then from there, we're going to have to go ahead and type in this here. Now I'll have this in the description as well as that first pinned comment. So you can either go ahead and copy and paste that here or write this out exactly as you see here. So we're going to do the vb2.exe space forward slash enable space forward slash ID followed by these numbers exactly. Go ahead and press enter. Should say successful. Now we need to do just one more line. Once again, in the description down below, this number right here is different. So make sure that you do write this out the second time. Go ahead and press enter. So once you're done with that, there is one more thing we need to do. We just need to check on something. So we're going to go and search for registry editor. We're going to click on that, click yes, and it should bring this up here. Now you can either do 
uh, just manually search through it all, or I'll leave a link. Well, not a link, but this here in the description down below, you could type that into the top or you could paste that like I did and then press enter and it'll bring you to exactly where you need to be. If that's not the case and you can't do that and you have to type it out yourself, you can either do that or manually look for it. So you go to H key local machine, then you click on software then Microsoft Windows NT current version and then OEM is not going to be a folder, but it is going to be something you need to click on right here. So that's not going to open up any drop menu, but it's going to open up this page here. Once you're here, you're going to want to go ahead and double click on device form. Make sure that value data does show to E It may just show two. if it does put lowercase E or you could do decimal and you could change that to 46 and press enter. Once that's done, all we need to do now is go to our settings, go to gaming, full screen experience, choose home app, and you're going to want to make sure that that's selected on Xbox. Once again, make sure that everything is fully up to date. If this does not appear, just go ahead and restart your system and then come back here and check again. And then it should appear. So go ahead and check on Xbox. Enter full screen experience on startup and press on. Now, if you do not want it to start up on it, when you first open up your, your system or you first turn on your device, uh, just leave that off. You can always go into the Xbox app and manually go into full screen experience. So just keep that in mind. I have that on so that when I just boot up my device, it goes straight into it. So before we get started with the full screen experience, we actually do need to set a hotkey with Armory Crate. So we're going to want to go into Armory Crate right here with Control Mode, select Configure, configure your gamepad mode. And then from here, we're going to select the button that we don't use. I don't use the back paddle, so I selected that for my Xbox button. I've seen people use the menu button in order to do that right here. So you could go ahead and click on that if you want to. Like I said, I don't use the back paddle, so I selected that. I then go to this should be selected. We're going to go ahead and unselect that. And then from here, we're going to use primary button and edit that. And then we're going to go to action and then we're going to go and select Xbox button from there. That should be done. Now, if you want it to, you can go ahead and select the menu button and you can use it as a secondary function so that you are still able to use its primary function. So go ahead, select that. Like I said before, go to action Xbox button and then just press B on your controller and that should be good to go. Once that's done, we can go ahead and restart our device. Now, once your system turns back on, you should be greeted with this page here. As you see, we're now in a full screen Xbox app. In order to switch between different apps, you can swipe up from the bottom and it'll give you this new tab here. I've had Armory Create open just to show you that you can switch between the two tabs. Now, any lagging that you see may just be because of my capture card. It does look way more smooth on the handheld itself. So just keep that in mind. You could go ahead and switch between the two. Now with that new assigned button that we did before with Armory Crate, like I said, I use my back paddle. If you're using the pause button, you can use that as well. But if you press the back paddle, the Xbox button once, you'll get the game bar pop up here and you could go ahead and just scroll through and check out your friends list, things like that. Uh, you also have most recently played games. So this is going to show you any games that you've played, any apps that you recently opened will appear here as well. Now, if you go ahead and hold the Xbox button, you'll get that quick menu there that you gotten if you had swiping up from the bottom of the screen. Now, if you want to go back to your Windows desktop and completely exit full screen mode, you're going to go ahead and press the Xbox button, go to the cog wheel, and then go to exit full screen experience. This is going to bring you back to the desktop. Now, in order to go back to the full screen experience, you can either click on the Xbox app or you could go ahead and hold down the Xbox button, click on where it says Xbox full screen experience. And I'll bring you back to that. So with the full screen experience, if you're in it, you can go to underneath Game Pass, click on my library. From there, you can go to my apps and it'll show you all the apps that's available with the Xbox experience, as well as the ones that are currently installed on your machine. So if you wanted to, you could go to Steam, click on that, and it's going to launch just like Steam would normally. So it's going to pop up that uh, installing or updating Steam, and then it's going to launch Steam in full screen mode. So just wait for that to load and then that should boot you straight into that. So if you happen to have any games downloaded through Steam, you could go ahead and do that. And it's just like Steam Big Picture mode now on your console. So if you wanted to go ahead, hold down the Xbox button again and you could switch right back to where you were. 
do that again and I could go back to Armory Crate if I wanted to. I'm actually running into an issue here where it's not working. So I might have to go ahead and just close out Armory Crate. Like I said, this is not the full experience just yet. This is still kind of experimental. It does have some issues uh, in order to get back to the Windows experience. Uh, Windows desktop, I would think that you would just click on where it says Windows desktop down below, but that's not working as a button. It just repops the screen back up. And the only way to get back to that is to press the Xbox button, go here and then exit full screen experience. That's the only way I've noticed that it works. But other than that, it's an interesting way to experience the handhelds. If you want, this is how you do that. Once again, you don't have to join any preview programs or do anything like that. And you still have your console as is. Now, another thing is just clean up real quick. If you wanted to, you could go to your PC, go back to that. And then you could actually go ahead and just delete that VV tool folder. You no longer need it. So you could go ahead and just trash that just to clean up things a bit there. And then if you no longer want it to boot back into the Windows full screen thing, go back to your settings, go to gaming, go to full screen, full screen experience, go ahead and select that to know and turn off the full screen on startup. And your handheld to be exactly the way it was before you did any of this. If you haven't have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this. I'm also getting the new Ally Xbox X handheld uh, on release day. So go ahead and make sure to stay tuned for videos on that. If you have any questions regarding that handheld, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to make videos on that. But thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.